I'm Tyson Ranger with NSS Canada. I'm a sales engineer. We're set up here at NORCAP to do this, uh, and I'm here to show you a little bit of geological map of the Quas. All right, so as you can see on the face here, we've got a little vein running through it, and to my left here, we've got a fault, and we'll imagine that we have a couple channel samples on the face as well. If you come to the tablet here, you can see the actual mine outline in white. We're in the 2000s drift at these dimensions, and you can see our driving layout that we're following right here. So now that we're all set up, we're geo-referenced, what we're going to do is we're going to draw our phase profile with the laser on the total station. Uh, so our step here, we press this phase profile button. We get a couple prompts, and it's going to say draw face clockwise. So what we'll do, we'll grab the later laser from our total station, we'll place it on the left here, and we'll press continue on the tablet here. We'll press continue. Now what it's doing, it's tracking the laser. So now it's my turn to trace the face profile. So I'm going to take my laser, and I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to map the face profile. The slower you go, the more accurate. I've drawn my face profile. Now I'll get a quick visual of that face profile from a section view. You can see it here. So now that we've traced our face profile, we've got it on our screen here, what we're going to do is we're going to map that vein right there. So we're going to press this button here, right beside the face profile button. And you'll see we'll get a prompt, draw rock contact, okay? So what we'll do, we'll grab our laser and we'll start at the top of this vein. Press continue. Now, once again, it's tracking the laser. We're ready to draw. So I'm gonna trace this vein contact. And you can see it interactively on the screen here. As I trace this vein, we see it in space at the right coordinates on the tablet. So that was the top of my vein, my top contact. We'll stop, we'll press it again, and then we'll begin to draw the bottom contact. So we'll press continue, draw the bottom here. There we go, that's the contact on my face. So now that we've got our face profile and we've mapped our vein on the face, what we're going to do is we're going to map our pretend channel samples as well. We'll come over here, we'll press this button here. Now what this button allows us to do is it allows us to place the laser on the face and from those specific coordinates we can attribute an ID. So we'll say on the face we've got a channel sample right there. All right. What we'll do is we'll come back to the tablet, we'll press continue. Now what it'll do, it'll track that location in space, and it'll give us a little interactive display here. So as you can see, we've got sulfides, we've got nickel slash copper, uh, nickel percent in sulfides, sample ID, category, or waste, and we've also got rock type. So for this example, let's say this is basalt, and we'll say we got 30% sulfides, all these parameters customizable. Um, and we'll say that this is sample, we'll just call it one, two, three. We'll press OK. And now you can see from that laser on the face, we've got a channel sample, one, two, three, with 30% sulfides and rock type being basalt. All right, so far we've got our face profile, we've got our vein coming across the face, and we've got a channel sample. Well, let's add a little bit more detail. Let's say we've got a fault on the face. Well, how do we map that? I'll show you here. Press this button here. It's gonna ask us, what kind of structure is this? Is this a joint? Is this a fault? Let's call it a fault. We'll press OK. And same idea as the vein, we're gonna draw this fault. So our laser starts at the top right corner, 
Um, and we'll see that this orange line on the face, that's our fault. We'll press continue. Now once again, our laser's being tracked, we're drawing in space. So we'll follow this orange fault all the way down. There we go. We'll press stop and you can see it's been traced on the face, right? All right, display dip. Yeah, let's 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 show the dip of this fault, right? We'll press yes, and we'll put that little dip marker right in the middle of the fault. We'll press continue. Now it'll prompt us. Okay, what's roughly the dip of this fault? We'll call it 45 degrees. We'll press OK, and just like that, we've mapped a fault at 45 degrees. Alright, now let's say we're curious how long this fault is. Well, let's measure it. We'll press this little measure button here, and we'll measure from the end of the, end of the fault to the other end, and we can see it's 2.3 meters. So there's a bunch of features that Moss has, um, you know, for geological mapping. Uh, everything happens here, there's no need to go measure on the face. You stand right here, there's no need to bring a sketchbook, it all happens on the tablet. All right, so we've got another fault behind us here. Uh, and so let's let's draw that on the map here. Now it's not on the face, but it's the same process, right? So we press this button again, we'll select fault. And it's the same idea, same prompts. Let's draw the fault, right? So from here, press continue. It's gonna track my laser again. display the dip um, and you see that's our fault on the wall there so it's not on the face profile it's on the ribs right so now that we've collected all this geological data we can start processing it right so this drawing is saved locally uh, if we connect it to an LTE or Wi-Fi network it'll sync automatically and you'll have this drawing access from your computer. What you can also do is plug in a USB and take the local drawing off of this as well. Um, we've seen most minds grab it and sync it directly to the network. It's just uh, automatic and it's, it's very quick. Um, so let's start our post-processing. All right, so now we are on the desktop. Uh, now before diving into all the geological data that we've collected, I'd like to first uh, revisit slash present uh, the data capture with every moss markup. So when you mark up the face, so that's you know your face profile, uh, your center line, your grade line, your crank line, your face markup itself, you collect this data, right? So the, the program does it itself as you perform the work. So you've got um, your outline here, so that's your face profile uh, actual versus design. You've got your overbreak right here. You've got the date of your markup, you know, length of your round, width of your round, um, and so I just wanted to present this data one more time so we'd understand um, that if you did do geological mapping with your markup, all the geological data would sit within this face profile. Now let's go check out that geological data that we collected um, uh, in the video previously. So right here in white, we've got the outline. So we'll just go top view. And I'll show you guys what I did here. Um, so essentially I took this driving layout. I put center line in red and walls in green, uh, just because that's how it's reflected in moss for the miners, or for anyone using it, for that matter. In white is the actual outline of the tope. Um, so like I said, this is superimposed, right? So this is actually um, expanded for this specific driving, driving layout. This is the data collected in the video, right? Um, and so you can see here, uh, all that data. So we've got the vein in the face. We've got that fault at 45 degrees, that uh, channel sample on the face, the face profile, and then of course that fault on the ribs. Um, so you can see it's very easy to manipulate the data, to work with it. Uh, I put it in this, uh, in this driving layout, of course. And what you'd see reflected as you develop is every time you map the face using moss is you'd see this, but somewhere else with a different mapping. What you can do in your mining software your, or your mining platform is you can build solids accordingly from there. Now we can also go here 
Uh, and you can make solids within moss as well. So I've done that here. I've made a design solid just to kind of illustrate what's going on here. So this would be the design solid. And you can see while our actual face profile is a little bit lower uh, than it should be, right? So you can build solids within moss uh, and you can also use the outlines um, or the data collected through moss to build them in your mining software, such as MinePlan or Desvit. Um, now there's many other options that we didn't touch on while we were underground. Um, here's a plethora of different buttons you can press for different kind of geological mapping. Um, there's a button here you can press uh, and you can pretty much just doodle on the face if that's what you're looking for. Um, you can go into this if you, you'd like to inquire, uh, but essentially there's a lot more than what's just shown here. Uh, and there's a lot of benefits to using Moss to map the face. All right, so if you guys have any questions, please reach out. Uh, really appreciate all your time watching the video, understanding geological mapping with Moss. Uh, and uh, take care.